Upon his arrival at the Jose Marti International Airport, Prime Minister Gengok was received by Cuba's Deputy Foreign Minister, Roger Sierra, as well as Namibia's Ambassador to Cuba, the Jerobin of Shanika. Deputy Trade Minister, Shekhar Tuea, who arrived a day earlier, was also at Cuba's International Airport. Speaking shortly after his arrival, Prime Minister Gengok pointed out that such a long visit were important to consolidate the with excellent ties between Namibia and Cuba. Visits like this are there to underscore that we are internally grateful to what the Cuban sons and daughters did by giving their own lives to our struggle. So that we must always not forget that we are born by that historical ties. And this kind of visits may achieve something, but to show that we are close to one On his part, Cuba's Deputy Foreign Minister Rogelio Sierra expressed Cuba's appreciation for Namibia's solidarity during difficult periods in its history. Someone that has uh, stood by our side in all of our struggles. And we hope that his visit be fruitful, be useful. That your visit uh, is fruitful, is useful. Sobre todo para seguir fortaleciendo y consolidando los vínculos de los países. The Premier started his visit with a wreath laying ceremony at the monument of Jose Marti, located at the famous Revolution Plaza in Havana. Marti is considered a Cuban national hero and the founder of the Cuban nation. The Prime Minister is also expected to address the Joint Namibia Cuba Business Forum as well as pay a visit to the National Zoological Institute of Cuba, home of more than 140 wild animals Namibia donated to Cuba.